Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So today I'm going to do a uh, kind of a dirty pour um, with pearls. So I've got my paints mixed up and I have Montmartre in Bru Bru Brilliant Red and Rose Matter. Um, they're both 30 grams paint, 60 grams Floetrol and 10 grams water just to get them to a consistency that I like. And then I also have a black which is 10 grams paint, 20 grams Floetrol and 4 grams water. So I don't want a lot of black but I want a little bit. Go away fly. Sorry. He was just getting in my way. And then I also have Extreme Sheen in Gold, which I have mixed up 20 grams paint and 20 grams Floetrol. So I'm hoping to have a nice red artwork with some dark um, black patches and then gold pearls that come up through it. So I'm going to pour in half of the Brilliant Red Then I'm going to pour in a bit of the black. Then I'm going to go half of the rose matter. Then half of the gold. Then we're going back to the brilliant red. So I have poured this in um, a bit of a dirty pour, but I haven't really, I poured it kind of in the same spot. I haven't really kind of poured it all over the place. Then we're going to go the black. So the black is mostly in there for contrast. And I didn't want a lot because black can take over and with red, both of these reds, um, so far i found all the Montmartre reds to be tra um, semi-transparent and they can be a little bit um, difficult because <coughs> the black will actually show through it and because the black is an opaque so they can come out quite dull if you have too much black in there so I just want a little bit and now the last bit of gold. So I'm going to scrape the gold cup quite thoroughly because I want as much metallic as I can. And this time I haven't put any paint on the actual canvas. So it's just going to be straight what goes on there. Okay, now I've been tidying it up and I think I've put my gloves on it. There they are. I just knocked over something. So I've been trying to organize my art area and um, it takes me a bit longer than I planned so I don't get it completed before I have to rush off to work and nothing's exactly where it should be. Okay, gloves on, make a spout for the cup and then I'm just gonna dirty pour it straight down into the middle.
Okay. Now, to get rid of those bubbles, we are going to give it a torch. So what I actually would like to do now is I'm going to pause the video for a minute and leave this for probably about two minutes. And what's going to happen is more pearls are going to, or the metallic is going to come to the surface and it will give me more gold if I let it settle than if I start tilting straight away. So we're just going to let this do its thing. It doesn't always work, but sometimes leaving it for a few minutes will give you more pearls um, or the metallic show up more. So I'm going to pause it and clear up my space and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> so I've let it settle. Not a lot more has come up, but the ones that are already up have gotten bigger. So now it's just a matter of t tilting. So. I'm not always going to mess around, I'm just going to go over the edges, just taking it a little bit slow. That fly is going to bother me the whole time now. Now I'm going to have to go a bit quicker because I, otherwise I'll start losing it over the edges. So over and come back. Now I come down to this bottom corner. Over and come back. Just dabbing a little bit of paint on those corners. <clears throat> Stretching all the way across. Now the gold that's fallen off the canvas, it looks beautiful. So it looks like the gold didn't sink as much as I would have preferred it to have when I poured it into the cup. Alright, I'm going to go over this edge, over and come back. Just, I didn't need to dab any on that one. Now this last side. over and back dab a bit there okay now I'm just moving the paint and stretching it a little bit hoping that that will make more gold come up but I want to watch my pattern that I'm not putting it out of shape When you move the paint around, your pattern slightly changes a bit. That's why the more even your consistency of your paints is, the more even the, the paints will work together and not push against each other. I 
because once the pearls come up, a lot of the pearls don't like to move as much either. Okay. So I'm just going to double check my corners. run my finger underneath and stop these drips. There we go. So now all I can do is, <clears throat> pardon me, take my gloves off because I had to stop moving because I feel like I was going to start making it go out of shape too much. But now we're going to give it a torch and see if I can get any more bubbles popped and some more pearls to come up. Don't torch it a lot. Now all I've got to do is let this settle in and see um, you will probably still get some changes come up either more pearls will show up or the pearls that you've got will come up a little bit bigger pardon me <coughs> and some of them mix with um, so as you can see through here the gold and the red have mixed together and kind of given a nice um, shimmer red all through here and where the pearls actually um, pop up there's quite a lot of gold shimmer in it but then this section here from this corner across this is going to stay very much similar you'll get a, a, the pearl pop up everywhere or now and then but that won't change too much so what I'm going to do is pause and let it settle in and see what changes and probably be back in about 10 15 minutes at the most i don't think a lot will happen because it is quite a hot day i think it's gonna give me its reactions quite quickly rather than slowly so oh and i'm not in camera angle let me move that so when it's a hot day my paints start drying a lot quicker. And when I say a hot day, I mean it's about 40 degrees Celsius today. And we'll move it across that way a little bit. All right, that's better camera angle. So I'm gonna pause it and I will be back soon. Okay, and we're back. So. This is the completed artwork. As you can see, more um, pearls, or they kind of got a bit more defined over here. A couple more. I think they were there, but they've just kind of swollen up a little bit more. Got a few over in this corner, but it's virtually quite golden all the way around that edge and not so much over this corner, but that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that. Adds interest, it makes you look away. And yeah, so, Hopefully when this dries, um, it will still stay quite reddish and not go quite dark because I didn't add a lot of black in there. So that's the one thing I, I've just learned. Unless you have um, <clears throat> a red that is opaque. So I think Liquitex Basics does an opaque red um, and sort of other brands, but the Montmartre doesn't for some reason. They're all um, transparent. So. It's a bit harder to work with when you use certain brands. 
Um, that's why I don't have a lot of red artworks with mixed with other colours because it's it doesn't always show up as defined as I would like it to be. But loving the pearls, especially like all these little pebble ones that are coming up and the ones that have taken on that red tone. But as this dries, this will be pretty cool, I reckon. Um, though the gold will really bring out a lot more. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to bring you down. And there we go. So actually it's coming out slightly darker in the camera. This area here is, isn't actually as dark. It's more um, the rosematic kind of tone. But as you can see, the gold and it's picked up the colors as it's come through. Beautiful pearls there. Up here we've got kind of like a big a big area of gold. A lot more pearls come up in that spot. And as we come down, you can see the red and the black have mixed a little bit and given a bit of a purple tinge to some parts. I think it actually might be the rose matter with the black. But all in all, so this is how the gold dries. It dries that super shimmer color. That's just what's fallen off the canvas. And it gives off really good color. So as this dries, this will end up giving that same type of tones to it. Can't really capture, oh, there's the shimmer. As long as, sorry about the light. But it's the only way to get both the shimmer and that in there. But there we go. So kind of a different artwork. Um, I used to do these this style a little bit more in the past, but I've kind of changed up how I do it. But I um, wanted to do one in the same style as I used to do. So let me know what you think. I hope you like it. So comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon for another pour. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.